first one that I'm going to do is writing this in a conditional form. Now, remember, ladies and gentlemen, conditional form, Robert, is when we have it as p then q. Where remember, p represents the hypothesis and q represents the conclusion. And where do we get this hypothesis conclusion? Well, remember, the hypothesis follows the statement if. And a lot of times, I just like to put a, you know, put a rectangle around it just to make sure I understand it, that is going to be essential in all of my conditional statements. It has to be in the form of if. Then we write our hypothesis. So if it rains, then I sleep. Right? So ladies and gentlemen, remember the hypothesis is what follows the if, and the conclusion is what follows the n, or the conclusion is what follows the then. Okay? So that's how you write a statement in conditional format. Now, the next one that I ask you guys to do